Hi, this is Rachel from Pure Photoshop Actions, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on uh, how to add a texture to an image um, and how to kind of manipulate that texture a little bit. Um, we're going to be giving away a texture this month, our love letter texture, so um, hopefully you'll hop on over to our fan page on Facebook uh, and grab it. Um, okay, so we're going to start with this image. It's been processed and it's all set, but we want to add this texture to it. It's really pretty simple. This is going to be the same whether it's Elements or Photoshop. If you notice, I've selected the Move tool, so I'm going to select this image and I'm going to drag this over and drop it. Uh, I got that because I had uh, processed this uh, in Camera Raw and I'd forgotten that I had not changed my settings from RGB. So you won't get that little pop-up that I just did. Okay, so I put this here and you see it's a little bit too small. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to click Control T to get the tr free transform. I can hold down the Shift key as I grab this little handle. So Control T and then Shift, grab the handle and I'm just going to stretch it. And really it's okay because this isn't going to be a huge part. Uh, you see how it still has so, it's very um, got very much the texture so it's okay to do that uh, okay but now we've hidden our picture so what we're going to do is we're going to come over and I'm going to change it to soft light I really like that um, you know and you can play with these because some pictures really are going to look better with different blending modes some are going to look better in screen not this image obviously but some really actually do some are going to look better in hard light again not this image the blue kind of makes it so that it's just not going to go that way some look better in overlay again not this image it's just making it really harsh on her skin and things um, and another one that works sometimes is multiply again that isn't the image that's going to work or the blending mode that's going to work best with this image but those are some uh, that usually work pretty well you know you can kind of figure out which one I think this one just just based on the tones of the image soft light's going to be the one that we're going to go to and you know um, so really right here because it kind of blurs we don't have too much but you can kind of see see she's still got some texture here but you know I like the color that it gave her you know here to here it's just a little warmer kind of more vintagey color so what we want to do uh, is I we want to get this texture offer but we want to keep the color um, so the question becomes how are we going to do that if we erase it or mask it it's going to take all of this off and we're going to be left without the color and it's not going to really match so let me show you a trick I'm going to turn this off the background layer turn my background layer off clicking control or I'm just clicking I for I've got my little eyedropper you see my eyedropper tool and I'm just going to select a uh, random color see so it's picked my color here and I'm going to go back to here okay so I've turned this on now I'm going to select B for my brush tool and just pick a random brush I'm going to use my bracket key right now I'm using my right bracket key and see it's just a normal brush it's set to 14% set to opacity and I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to paint this color same color as the texture onto the baby but you see how it's like it's uh, in painting that it's getting rid of that extra texture that we didn't want to have that was kind of we didn't want it on our skin see how there it's like taking that texture off her skin that's a good one look like she like had been bitten or something um, okay so see we're just kind of going around and gently brushing this on so we're keeping the color that the texture is added because we really like that and we want our our subject to certainly match and fit in with their surroundings but uh, you know but we don't want to have to worry about having texture all over them okay so we brush the texture off so now she is just sitting here and we've got the texture um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, sometimes, you know, you're going to want to say, okay, I'm going to lower the opacity. I kind of like it here. I think it gives it kind of a Valentine's Day feel. So, you know, but you have your choice of kind of where you want that texture. You know, where do you feel it's going to look best? I'm just going to leave it at 100%. Um, okay, another thing you can do, I, I love the color. I love the way it looks right now. Sometimes you might have an image that the color is a little too strong on the texture. 
So here's a quick trick to tone down the color of, uh, of the texture. So one thing that you can do is we're going to come over here and I've just clicked hue and saturation. So I've added a hue and saturation adjustment layer to the whole, to my stack of layers here. Now I'm going to hold down the alt key. Uh, it's option key if you're on a Mac. It's alt key if you're on a PC. And see how I'm hovering my cursor. I'm right over here hovering my cursor between layer one and hue saturation. I'm going to click that and I've just made a clipping mask. So in doing that, I can now say, okay, you know, it was a little too yellow. I kind of liked where it was before. And I can desaturate. You see how I've, you know, gone here. So, you know, here's where it was before. It was about here. And we can desaturate it and say, oh, yeah, I like it here. And that, you know, just kind of still gives you some texture. You still get some of that feeling of the texture but you don't have uh, as much yellow. Now I happen to really like it, so I'm going to bring it back. You know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll say, oh, okay, you know, we'll tone it down, uh, negative five. Okay. Um, and these are groups. So if I turn this off, it turns off this hue saturation layer as well. But that's just a really quick and dirty tutorial on how to, how to quickly add a texture, how to maintain the color on your subject while removing the texture. And then also how to desaturate that texture if the color is just a little too strong for your taste. Um, anyway, if you, uh, we'd love to have you stop by Pure Photoshop Actions and uh, check out our fan page. It's uh, on Facebook at Pure Photoshop Actions. Uh, just search that. Uh, anyway, thank you very much. This is Rachel for Pure Photoshop Actions.